Hello, I'm Mark Skoyan. I'm an automation specialist for Warner Electric Minnesota. We're doing a series of videos on input and output issues associated with VFDs. And in the video we're going to do today is associated with the output side. So we have a pulse width modulated uh, three horsepower power flex VFD. We have 500 feet of cable between the drive and the motor. We're going to have our oscilloscope on the motor or terminated at the motor. We're going to look at the output without a filter. We're going to add a 3% output reactor. We're going to add a DVDT filter. And we're also going to look at a sine wave filter. Okay, now we're looking at the output with a DVDT filter. Again, we have the 500 feet of cable between the drive and the motor. Now you can see that the peaks, I've changed the scale now to 200 volts per division. You can see that our peaks are getting up to about 800 volts. So we've attenuated the peaks by about 500 volts, from 1300 volts without a filter to approximately 800 volts with the DVDT filter. Now I'll expand out to look at one pulse. So here's one pulse. You can see that the peak is getting up to about 800 volts. The rise time is still made, is, uh, much faster than with the uh, output reactor, but we have attenuated the uh, large overshoot on the voltage. Also, you can note that the ringing is significantly less with the DVDT filter than with the output reactor.